is the guitar channel for the self-taught. Hey guys, in today's video uh, we're addressing somebody's uh, question that they had in the comments. They were asking, how do I develop my calluses faster? And I have an answer to that. You may not like it, but I definitely do have an answer for it. There are also a couple things, guys, I wanted to ask you uh, before we get started on that. And number one is I have made a series of videos uh, gosh, eight to ten, somewhere in there. A few of them I'm in, but most of them I am not in them. They're kind of like a surreal type of video. I'll post some of the videos that are already up in the description there, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I have several more coming. Some of them are kind of like surreal science fiction kind of thing, kind of a trip. But let me know, guys. My question to you is, does it matter to you whether I'm in the video or not. Now it's my music, I made the music, I put the videos together, I do all the editing, all that. But it doesn't necessarily matter whether I'm physically in the video or not, is my question. So that's that. Please, please let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know whether it matters or not. I'd really like to hear your feedback. The next thing that I wanted to address is, obviously somebody that's asking that question is, is more than likely in the beginning stages of playing the guitar, asking about calluses and stuff. Now, I wanted to say something to you guys specifically that happen to be uh, beginners out there. You know, you see these ads and things saying that you can do this without any pain or do this so much faster or do this or that. I ask you to keep in mind that a lot of the times you're just being sold something. You know, let's be honest, guys. Now, whether it matters to you or not, we don't do any Patreon. We don't ask for any money or of any kind other than selling t-shirts. If you'd like to buy one of our t-shirts, We'd really, really appreciate that, but otherwise, we don't do any Patreon. There's also this new thing on YouTube where you can put ads in the middle of your video. And I think the video has to be at least 15 or 20 minutes long. Anyway, but they'll run them in there, and I rejected that because what a pain in the butt it is. I watch YouTube too, and the last thing I want to see is it being interrupted by commercials, right? I don't like them either, and I try not to subject my subscribers or viewers to that either, even though I can make more money from AdSense or whatever it is. So, you know, guys, the money thing is not an issue. It's not like I, you know, don't need money or anything like that, believe me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm just not here to ask you for it. You know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? I hope. All right, guys. Calluses. Let's move on to calluses. Is there a faster way? Everything's got to be faster. Got to have it right now. Oh, right? <laughs> Actually, there is a way to build your calluses faster. At least this is my way of doing it. And it involves more pain and more practice. <laughs> Isn't that always the answer? But really, what I would suggest to you is to stay in more fixed positions like certain chords, like Stairway to Heaven I was playing at the beginning there. There are lots of parts of this song that you're fretting the same chord over and over and a lot of four finger fretting. Don't forget that pinky. Uh, here's another part. All through that part too, you're just fretting a chord moving up and down. That really, believe it or not, is going to help build those calluses because the more you dig into those strings and not necessarily stay in a fixed position, but the more pressure you put on there, like that, you'll see what I mean. Shredding is good and fine and all that, but really to build the callus base is what you're after. That 
base below the actual callus to toughen up the actual fingertips themselves. This is how to do it. Find fixed chords. So let's take it, let's make an exercise. Let's take a D and we're going to suspend it with our pinky. Okay, so let's just make something up. taking the D shape and moving it all the way up and down the fretboard. You can do the same with like a C shape or an F shape, etc. Alright, so do the same thing or, you know, use your bar chords too, that's great to do it with as well. Or if you just want to play those open, right? But later you're going to find that you don't quite use your fingertips as much as you might think, but when you're beginning it is super important, of course, to build up your calluses and moreover the base of the callus. Right? So if you didn't practice for a week or so, you'll still have the calluses there, but you really do have to work them in. You know, you can take a, a, a file or a saw or something to your fingertips, or you can do iron hands training and put them in broken glass or jagged rocks, right? I do not suggest doing that. That will rip the crap out of your hands, but it will toughen them up, but uh, you won't be playing for a while. So if you're looking for some sort of secret magic recipe, as to my knowledge, it doesn't exist. Just more practiced and fixed positions with like open chords, cowboy chords, that sort of thing. So again, just to recap, do I necessarily need to be in the videos to make it entertaining to you? Let me know, one way or another, does it matter? Number two, be careful what you pay for, guys. You know, there are all kinds of people selling you all kinds of nonsense. We're here to teach you self-taught stuff, and once you teach yourself, this is my personal feelings and through experience, that when you teach yourself something, you never forget it, and it is yours. You own it. Make your whole thing that way. Make all of your guitar playing that way, and uh, you'll get to know your guitar probably better than you would have had you done it maybe some other way. That's possible. Maybe not. Who knows? All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next video.